find out more. And it's Friday here on Good Things. That means we are talking movies with Miss Tanya. And it's like, what? Seven days? Yes. I can, listening to this music, I can just see Tom Cruise walking in slow-mo. And that little bit of the gas, like the, the gas or whatever that comes yeah. out of the engine, it's like gives you a little haze from far away. Yeah. And it's like, yay! I can't believe it's here. And there are some theaters that are going to have really early screenings, like as early as Tuesday. So you may not have to wait as long as you think. Well, when are you going to see it? As soon as I can. <laughs> I think that's it. Everybody is thinking. I saw now they're really ramping up like the press for it and kind of all of that. And someone is asking Tom Cruise if they ever because this was supposed. We're talking about Top Gun. If if you if by yeah. chance you are not you're not aware that because um, it should have come out how many years ago? Like probably at least two. What it might have been in twenty, I think. And um, someone said, did you ever consider streaming? And with everything in him, not to say, you know, hello, no. He's like, heck no. He's like, this is a must-come-see theatric, a theater experience. Yeah, and one thing you can count on with him is he does not pull any punches. I mean, he goes in full speed, 110%. So, and he really wants the audience to be entertained. And he makes movies for the theater, so... I'm glad he stood by his beliefs on that, and we are finally going to get to see it. And they're saying that this could be, you know, the movie that, like Spider-Man, really helps the movie industry yeah. you know, get back to glory days. Yes, so I hope play. so. I really do. You know, and I'm starting to see some of that, you know, of course, like Spider-Man and, uh, you know, some of the others that have come out since have brought big crowds You know, there's still a lot of hit or misses out there, but I did get to see Downton Abbey last night, and it was a nice... this weekend. Yes, it started today, um, and, you know, I saw a nice crowd. Like, there were two showings, um, kind of a preview. The 7 o'clock showing was packed. Um, I did not make it to that one. One of my kids had baseball, so... My husband and I went to the late movie, which I can't tell you how long it's been since I've done that. But it was not quite as crowded just because of the hour. But it was still a nice crowd. And it was like people really excited. Like there were a few people actually dressed up like they were going to. Well, they played the first movie this week on uh, cable TV. Yeah. To kind of gear you up for it. Yeah. Monday night maybe. Yeah. Well, and I thought about that when we were getting ready to go last night. I was like, gosh, I really wish I would have rewatched the movie um, prior to this one just to refresh my memory because it's been a while. And we found it on demand and watched kind of fast forward and watched a little bit of it before we left. But um, anyway, I really feel like you can go see this one and enjoy it follow along even if you didn't watch the series even if you didn't see the last movie you're going to be fine but if you're a big fan like me that saw everything um, I've actually watched the series twice Um, that was one of the things I did during the pandemic as I I binged it um, for a second time and uh, you're going to get a lot of nice little winks. So, you know, because they get s- all the fun things that you'll remember about your favorite characters are very much in this movie. So is it, is it, fa- can I take Neely? Um, it is PG-13. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, PG. Um, but I think it it's okay for kids um, because really the more adult themes of the movie are, would go right over a kid's head, you know, so... I think I would feel very comfortable with my kids watching Because we it. watched the series together. There were only a few shows, you know, that close your eyes or yeah. you'd, you'd fast forward through. But very few considering how many seasons there were. Right. And I really appreciated that. So she's really excited about it. I was hoping I could get my Tanya two thumbs up. Yeah, for, I think she'll her. be fine. Um, you know, there's nothing that I can think of off the top of my head that would concern me. Um, but I would... I can't imagine my kids sitting and watching it. They would be like, get me out of here, you know, because it it doesn't move fast enough for them. Well, it's I think it's the scenery and the the accents and the pretty clothes and all that. that yeah. She, she and if she stuff. loved the series, she definitely it will hang in there. Is that the only thing out this weekend? Well, there's another one um, called Men. Um, and this one's kind of a horror movie about a girl who or a young woman who... Um, has lost her husband in a tragic manner and she decides she's going to go to the English countryside 
to kind of escape, regroup, get her thoughts together. But instead, she feels herself being stalked by the people around her. And so, um, anyway, it stars Jesse Buckley, who was actually just nominated for an Oscar. Um, and it, she's such a great actress. So it's very intriguing. I, I have not seen it. And it's one of those that I feel like I have to have some daylight around me. It just looks like it's going to be scary. That kind of leads into where the Crawdad sings when yes. you said that, which I'm not sure when it comes out, but I just saw a trailer for it. And I yeah. thought, ooh, that looks good. I believe it's in July, and they actually had a trailer for that before Downton last night. So it is not, I kept hearing about it. But until I saw the trailer, I didn't really know what it was about. And yeah. And I think it's produced by Reese Witherspoon, which I find yes. very interesting. Yeah, she bought the rights to the book. So, uh, or, you know, the to turn it into a film. Greg and Nettleton wants to know, you mentioned July. Um, his family has uh, the tradition of always going to a movie for the 4th. I know we're right here on Memorial Day, but he mentions the 4th will be here before we know it. Is there anything that's like on the horizon for the 4th of July? Well, I know that I've got everything for June lined up. Um, I believe there may be some animated stuff coming out around then. I know there will be something big. Um, after we get through Top Gun, we're going to have the new Jurassic Park movie, uh, Jurassic World Dominion, and then the Buzz Lightyear movie. That's kind of a prequel to the Toy Story mm-hmm. movies. Um, and then the Elvis movie comes out at the end of June. Um, so that'll get you into July. As far as what's actually coming July 4th, I'm not sure. I have not look that far ahead but we'll keep you, you definitely yeah I'll, I'll keep you posted as we get closer and there you know these movies i just mentioned are coming Thor, love and thunder is july 8th oh yay yeah so be topless yeah <laughs> <laughs> well i do know that he is definitely on a workout regimen after the events of uh, yeah. endgame <laughs> has tanya seen the north man no, I have not. I don't know that I've heard of that. Mm, we st- we stumped her. Is yeah. it in theaters, Jeff, or are you, or is it just a movie that you enjoy? Let us know because I mean, there's so there's no way you could see every movie. Created, yeah, it's one that uh, just came out recently. It features Alexander Skarsgård. Is that the one that was in True Blood? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've About seen Vikings some, and stuff. Yeah, he's like totally looks like a different person. Oh, he's um, got a big bushy beard. Yeah. Crazy Viking hair. How did Doctor Strange do <laughs> How, in its opening weekend? Um, it did really well. So, I mean, it, it won the box office. And I think it's probably going to stay at the top. Um, it, its biggest competition was the animated movie, um, The Bad Guys. Um I don't know if Downton is going to knock them out of the top spot. Oh, no, that's a very specific audience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're a diehard, you're a diehard, you're going to go see it. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and, you know, Top Gun is one of those that is going, it just appeals stupid. to everybody. I have friends so. already buying tickets. Yeah, yeah. For next Friday, because they're mm-hmm. up and you can do that. Yeah. It's a lot of excitement. <laughs> I know, and I feel, I'm nervous about having, I, I keep saying that, having that much anticipation for something and then it to be a letdown. But, um, you know, you just never know. To I just don't see how it can be a total bust. Oh, no, there's It no may way. not live up to your expectations, but it can't be a total bust. Yeah, I mean, I, really, Tom Cruise never goes wrong. I mean, all of his movies are good. Yeah, Even it's the just one, his love life in real life. Yeah, is. just <laughs> his personal life, not so much. But his movie-making skills are above par. Above par, yeah. Did yeah. you have anything else for us? I feel like we took you off your... Off your game plan. Oh, no. Well, just more about Downton. You know, there's two main storylines. And those of you, to me, the heart and soul of Downton is Violet, a.k.a. Grandmama, who runs the show. And, of course, you know from watching the trailer, we find out she inherits a villa um, and in France that is left to her by a, a man that she had a brief relationship with. And you early in her marriage and her family is like trying to figure out what happened for this man to leave her this villa and so they have to travel to france to to figure that out and then meanwhile violet's unable to travel she and mary stay behind at downton because they are having a movie filmed there and so it's really funny because they're all 
um, very upset by these film people being there. They, they're kind of snobby toward it, but they need money because the leak, the roof is leaking. So it's they decide English. to go yeah. along with it. And it's just really fun to watch how they all interact with the film stars. I'm excited to see that one. I'm excited for everything that's coming up. So lots to look forward to. Thank yes. you. All righty. You guys stick with us. We got a little bit more for you. Up